Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just doing a kind of a quick update here. Uh, unfortunately I ended up having to tear down the 15 gallon nano disaster. Uh, not so much because of the algae, but because I'm not actually supposed to have a fish tank where I live. Uh, unfortunately I have uh, this space here in the back of my shop where I've got a small fish room set up and I can pretty much get away with pretty much anything back here. Um, so, as you can see, I brought a lot of the rocks in. That's uh, one of the rocks from the 15 there. We uh, zoom in here, we see there's another one of the 15 uh, gallon rocks there over in this tank here. Um, back behind the tank there, you can see another one of the rocks from the 15 gallon. Uh, and actually, over here, in kind of just rock storage land here, is the remaining of the rock that all got pulled out. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was. Uh, Kind of one of those bittersweet things, um, but sometimes that happens in this hobby where uh, you're going to have to tear down a tank, whether you want to or not. And uh, fortunately in this situation I have a place to put all the corals, and uh, all the rock, and all the livestock, the fish, everything. Um, so it actually worked out okay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, uh, these tanks here all seem to be doing really good. I am having a bubble algae problem down here. Uh, I'm going to be addressing that here probably in the next week. Um, so with bubble algae, there's not a lot you can do other than manually remove it. Uh, there are some things that will eat it, such as emerald crabs and possibly fox faces, but it's not a guarantee they're going to solve your problem. Uh, your best bet is just to get in there, get your hands dirty, and just manually remove it. Uh, as far as the fear of popping the bubbles, that's actually a little bit overrated. There's actually some debate right now as to whether or not that actually does release spores or how big the bubbles have to be before it becomes a problem. Uh, also, something to keep in mind is there's actually a couple different species of bubble algae that frequently inhabit our tanks. And uh, honestly, I have no way of knowing the difference between them. And I'm sure the species uh, really affects whether or not that's a problem. But we'll be finding out here shortly because uh, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get my hands in the tank and get dirty here shortly and start cleaning this out. Um, just on a quick side note, that Mahano anemone is looking gorgeous over there. The thing's really got some nice size to it. Uh, it hasn't started spreading yet. It's been in the tank for several months now. Um, still haven't seen any new Mahanos pop up, but uh, the one that's there is really nice looking. Uh, off to the right there you see one of the emerald crabs that I've enlisted to help uh, battle the algae here. Uh, let's see, go up to this tank here. Um, just everything's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, one of the corals is knocked over. One of the crabs seems to really like knocking that coral over. I'm probably going to have to glue it to a rock here soon uh, just to solve that problem. But uh, other than that, everything is looking pretty good. You can kind of see, let's zoom here in the middle. There's some of the green star polyps that were in the 15 gallon tank. Uh, there's another piece of it, if I can find it right there. Uh, I ended up having to frag it to get it off of the rock that it was on. And uh, the rock wouldn't fit in this tank and there's no light on the rock storage tank. So I had to frag it so that I could get in here where it could get some light and keep growing. And uh, that's actually not a bad thing. Um, this tank here, let's, oops, wrong way. Let's zoom out a little bit. See, everything's looking pretty good in here. Uh, there's still a little bit of an algae issue, but not much. It's actually gotten a lot better. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've added some hermit crabs and some snails and some emerald crabs. All of which have been in there just doing their thing and uh, just slowly eating everything back. Um, if I can zoom in on them, see the uh, baby mollies are doing really good. They're growing, starting to get some color to them. Looking really nice, really happy about that. So uh, yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, again, thanks for watching.